oh my god look at my hair day three and vlogmas reality is setting in it's 7 54 i have been at my desk since six with a quick break for a shower and to get dressed and yesterday's video is still not up forgotten how much hard work this is It's 10 to 9. Yesterday's video is up. Did I say good morning? Did I even say good morning? Good morning. It's day three of Vlogmas. I've been at my desk since six. Yesterday's video is up. Done a couple of other bits and pieces. Um, packed my parcels. And now it is time to go out for a walk. Go for a walk, drop off my parcels. And that's all I'm planning to do out today. And then I'm going to come back and make a plan for the rest of the day. Out for my walk. I thought it would be a good idea to come out early this morning because the forecast is due to be raining later on. It's very muddy underfoot. We could do without any more rain at the moment. But hey ho, it's winter, isn't it? December. What else do we expect? I feel like I'm not quite getting into the rhythm of the editing side of Vlogmas yet. I can probably because I'm editing a lot out. I feel like I'm not, what I mean is, I feel like I'm not getting into the rhythm of how much to film each day. Doing too much. The last two days' videos have been quite long, which means more time when it comes to editing. Um, so I need to cut that down a bit. Also, my computer was playing up this morning. <coughs> Excuse me. I could do with a new computer, but it's quite a big expense, isn't it? And I feel like this one hasn't lasted as long as it should, so ridiculously I'm a bit loath to buy a new one. Which is silly really, because the amount of time I spend waiting for the computer to catch up would probably be worth the amount of money it is to buy a new, speedier one. It was quite busy. I drove through town to drop off my parcels and the shops all reopened today. I wasn't sure if it was today or tomorrow, but um, yeah, it was quite busy and all the shops' lights were on and people were sitting outside Weatherspoons drinking coffee. Um, so yeah, that was all quite nice to see the world coming back to life a bit again. I um, don't know how busy it would be, certainly. There seemed to be far more cars parked in town than there are that have been recently oh the swans are there oh lovely i can show you the swan family they're so sweet just before we go and look at swans look at this black and white duck i've not seen one like that before is he half of one type of duck and half of another do you think interesting he's with all the other ones that are sort of that type of duck which we don't know what it's called a little bit far away today, but it's a family of five swans, two parents and three, I don't know if you still call them cygnets when they're as big as they are, but the cygnets are just you losing their grey colours, grey feathers sorry, and getting their um, sort of white feathers and their beaks are starting to go orange and they're turning from ugly ducklings into swans as the story goes, they're lovely. This little bridge is the halfway point on my walk and all summer that is completely dry there's no water there at all and at the moment there's quite a cascade isn't there shows how much rain we've been having recently can you see the heron over there i'm just going to zoom in at him i see him quite often here but not at this time of day i think he'll fly off as i walk up the path but at least I managed to film him for you. Oh, walk is done. I feel like somebody put in the comments yesterday that you um, 
walk faster when it's colder and I reckon that's true actually yes it was a good walk a bit of a damp one I don't know why I wash and dry and style my hair and then although style arguable I know <laughs> and then go out for a walk because it just immediately goes flat as a bloody pancake it's useless anyway good news this morning the Pfizer is it vaccine has been approved in the UK and is starting to roll out next week I mean they've only got a minimal or not a minimal I can't remember how many doses of this particular vaccine but enough to start roll out which I know there's a lot of people against vaccines but for me if it's a way out of this life of restriction then i'm going to grab it with both hands i i'm for the vaccine program um i know it's controversial and there's a lot of other views out there but um yeah that's good news i felt like that was good news this morning so right i'm going to go home and i'm going to find some breakfast i'm hungry really hungry this morning breakfast is going to be one of these cinnamon and raisin warburton thin bagels they are in case you want to know 130 calories each. I'm just going to have a scraping of um, Lurpak Lighter or whatever, Tesco's own brand Lurpak Lighter. Don't know what that's called. That's what I'm on about. It's called Butter Pack. Right, I've sorted out my emails. Still haven't sorted out my desk. I've done some admin -y bits. Still need to do some eBay listing. But I'm just going to go and put this skirt in soak in this bowl in some vanish because it's got some stains that didn't come out when I put it on a 20 minute wash last night with a couple of other bits and pieces. So we need to bring the big boys in terms of stain removers in. And while I was coming up to the bedroom, I thought we could do the advent calendar. Just thought you may be wondering why I keep the stain remover in my ensuite bathroom rather than downstairs where the washing machine is. And that would be a perfectly reasonable question because I'd be probably wondering that as well. The reason is, I think, having just thought about it, the reason is that we don't have hot water or mains hot water downstairs where the washing machine is because the, the hot water down there is on a separate um, electric switch. It's like an electric hot water heater thing. And um, I don't like that. There's no point putting the hot water on specifically for that i'd rather just come up here and um, use the hot water that's already hot up here if any of that makes sense i hope it does right advent calendar time let's find door two. Oh, it's down the bottom there i've just spied it let's see what we've got oh interesting oh just dropped it let me find something to balance you on i've come back to the office get my glasses so I can read to you about it and show you and I looked it up to see whether it was a full size and stuff and how much it was worth can I get all that background out so it will focus yes there we are it is Venn a brand I've never heard of before age reversing all-in-one concentrate for all skin types so like a serum I guess little card I'm liking the little cards that come to tell you a bit about the product come in the box with it and it says i am a multi-correctional anti-aging formula that streamlines your skincare routine into one step one step really i simultaneously hydrate smooth brighten and address wrinkles with advanced science oh advanced science <laughs> Apply three to four pumps of me morning and evening and eliminate the need for toner, serum and moisturiser. I'm guessing it's some sort of um, glycolic or some sort of acid thing in it. Oh my God, I can't read that. Look at the list of ingredients on it. Um, but the price, this is not a full size. I thought initially it was a full size, so it's quite a biggish thing, as you can say. But it's only 20 mils in here. So it comes in like a pump thing like that. There we are. Um, 20 mils, which isn't loads, is it? And I don't think it's full size because I found a full size one on Netta Porte, which is 50 mils, which is the only UK stockist I could find that gave the price in pounds rather than euros. And 50 mils of this is 155 pounds. 155 pounds. So... 20 mils would be around the 70 pounds 70 60 60 pounds mark something like that but 
expensive. Um, not sure what's in it. Does it say what's in it? Oh God, loads of stuff that we will never have heard of. Um, Compound K, Panax, Ginseng, 89.7% of efficacy driven bioactives. Lordy Miss Claudie, it's blinding us with science, isn't it? Needs to be bloody good to be worth that sort of money. So I will let you know. I'll give you updates on everything as and when I try it, which probably won't be during Vlogmas initially. Um, but yeah, interesting. A serum. I quite like that one. I feel like that's quite a generous size, even though it isn't full size. I like the size of that and it seems like it's worth quite a lot. Um, let's do the charity jar while we're here as well, shall we? Let's dig deep into here to get this one. And it is today. It's Debbie Tomlinson who says, um, she'd like to recommend or suggest Bliss Charity for Premature Babies. My grandson Archie was six weeks premature and in an incubator for two weeks. When he was 18 months old, he did a sponsored walk around a nearby lake and raised loads of money for them. Oh, bless him. That's so sweet. So I have heard of the charity Bliss before because... Um, my nephew was a very premature baby but he's 23 now but um he was born at 27 or 28 weeks which i know is quite it, it was very very premature in those days um it was very touch and go and he spent a long time in um, in the neonatal ward um yes yeah, so i'd be very happy to donate to bliss debbie thank you very much for that suggestion um and as usual the screenshot of the donation will be the last shot of this video right i am behind i haven't got any ebay done and i really wanted to have the afternoon off work this afternoon i don't think that's going to happen completely but i'm going to get some ebay listing done now and yeah, I'm going to get some eBay listing done now. There wasn't an end. <laughs> it's just after one and I'm about to go and catch up on I'm a Celebrity and have some lunch. Probably some leftover Thai minced pork salad from last night because it was delicious. But first of all, an exciting parcel has arrived. I'm hoping I've got my hand over my address now. Yes, I have. It's in this box. It's my one and only Black Friday purchase. I say one and only, like I haven't got a terrible online shopping ha habit at the moment. And I'm very abstemious. Um, it was the only thing I bought on Black Friday. And it wasn't even my fault. <laughs> Emma Drew, the enabling madam, <laughs> sent me a code. Um, or sent me a, a DM on Instagram telling me that Kate Spade had a big sale on and another gave me another code for another 20% off. So I just had to purchase something. How pretty is that? I love their packaging, it's always so nice. Da, da, da. Oh, well, I've been the, get rid of the box, there we are. Oh, it's lovely. I love it. I don't need it, of course, because I won't be going anywhere in the near future, particularly, but hey. Look at that. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? I love the colour. It called it raspberry pink, but I'd say it's erring on the side of purple that is darker than i thought it would be which is actually quite nice i really really love it so beautiful i'm going to switch over from this bag which i don't think i've switched from this bag since the first lockdown i'm pretty sure i haven't so it's time this one had a little break and i'm going to switch into my beautiful new bag which definitely doesn't go with what i'm wearing today but i'm going to exeter for the day tomorrow so i will be planning my outfit around my new bag is that a thing is that a thing planning your outfit around your bag i don't know but i'm gonna do it anyway honestly this is just such good television you can't see this i know but <laughs> Last night, so I'm a celebrity, they're doing karaoke and they went to the pub, not a real pub, a pub in the castle, but, and they have pie and chips and uh, they're just so happy. It's such 
feel good television. Oh, bless them. <laughs> bless. I was going to talk to you about my new eyeshadow project. You know that I love an eyeshadow palette, or 50 apparently, because that's how many I've got. I counted last week. <laughs> this is where I keep them all in the corner of this cupboard, just here in that set of drawers in here. And I was wondering when I was sorting them out last week, how many of them, or I, I use them all, but how many of the colors I actually use. So I've set myself a little challenge. I don't know if it's a little challenge or not. It might be quite a big challenge actually. Sorry, I'm just trying to balance you there. To, that was a good balance, wasn't it? Because if I stay very still, no idea how messy the sofa is behind me. It looks like quite a tidy room, doesn't it? If I do that, however, it tells a different story. Anyway, so I set myself the challenge of using every single eyeshadow in every single palette I own. And I'm starting with this one, which I've got two palettes this size, really big ones. What I call really big, anyway. And they are... I was counting how many I've got in here, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24 in this Emily Edit one. So what I'm doing is, as I use them, I'm putting a tiny little mark next to the colours that I've used. I won't need to do that in the smaller palettes, obviously, because uh, I won't lose track of which ones I'm using. But I'm going through one palette at a time and um, trying to use every single colour. So... The ones I've still got left to use in here are the purpley colours. And you see, that's quite interesting because I would have said that I quite liked the purpley colours. I'm quite attracted to purple as colours, but those are the ones I've left till last in here. Was that because I don't actually like them as much as I think I do? So I've got this one here still to use, this sort of dark berry colour almost. Then that sort of lightish, no, it's not light, is it? It's mid-toned sort of ready purpley colour then this very purple one and that one up there still to use also this one over here which is a dark matte purpley colour oh and this one down here i thought i used that this morning no i used something else that was very similar to it this morning anyway i'm quite enjoying this project so anyway i've only just started on this project obviously because um, i'm only on the first eyeshadow palette but um just thought it would be quite interesting and maybe a bit more creative rather than doing the same thing every day with my eyes. So um, yeah, just thought I'd share that with you. Don't you just love those evenings when you can get something out of the freezer, a homemade something out of the freezer. Just got a pasta bake out that I made. Made two pasta bakes. Last time I made a pasta bake, basically. Um, how many times can I say pasta bake in one clip? And haven't got a cook tonight but we still get a home cooked meal isn't that nice that's one of my favorite things and i have to say i'm feeling tired this afternoon i've had two mornings where i've woken naturally at 5 30 and got up and cracked on um but i feel quite tired to this afternoon i feel like it's all a bit of an uphill struggle just getting dark and i have I've been sorting out this drawer this afternoon, not all afternoon, but it's one of the things I've done, which is full of instructions for, you know, instruction manuals for various appliances and electrical things and all sorts. What I've got, I used to have like a, this, let me just show you, I'll turn this around, that file, which had lots of it in but then it expanded to um there was more of it than it fitted in that file so we used the whole drawer however i've just thrown away loads let me just show you how much i've thrown away that is from things that we don't have anymore or are irrelevant or we don't need i feel like instruction manuals are almost a thing of the past in terms of if something goes wrong your first stop these days is Google, isn't it? Tell me, do you keep instruction manuals for things? I don't know, should, do, should I just bin the lot? I don't think I've been the lot, but 
there's probably quite a few of them that we don't want. I've got a massive pile here, not massive, but a pile here for Ashley to go through of things that I'm not sure if we've got them or if they're from, they're mostly like garden things and tools and that sort of stuff. I'm not sure if he still needs everything in that pile. So that's for him to go through. Um, yeah, so I'm planning to hopefully condense it down enough so it will go into the bottom drawer of the filing cabinet in my office because I went through the filing cabinet earlier this year and got rid of loads of paperwork that we don't need anymore. So um, hopefully this everything from here will go into there. That one. Look at the state of my blooming dining table. Really need to sort this out. There's loads of stuff here. Just God, that tissue paper is probably nearly in that candle. That is, I've just lit two candles. This is Goose Creek brown sugar churros, which is lovely. It's a very baking -y, autumnal, wintry, comforting sort of smell. And I've also lit over here, I've got Bath and Body Works fresh sparkling snow there can't remember what the scent notes are in that one haven't lit that one since last winter so waiting to see what that one smells like because I can't remember it's very exciting my new coffee tables arrived our new coffee table I should say so I'm sitting comfortably on this chair here and watching Mr. Matthews put it together. <laughs> it's smaller than I thought it was going to be, but I think it's just because we're used to having such a big one. We've had this since I was pregnant when we got this one that we have currently. So I remember carrying it into the house and it was she quite didn't heavy. Get pregnant on the coffee table. <laughs> no, because I was it. no, because I was yeah. <laughs> we already. <laughs> I was already pregnant. Yeah. Um, so yes, a new coffee table. I'm quite excited. Wasn't it the dining room table? I don't think we had a dining room in those days. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the new coffee table. Obviously, we are going to remove this one. It's a lot smaller, but it does go really nicely with the little Urkel nest of tables. There's three. One is somewhere else, um, which is kind of what I was looking for. This just isn't the right vibe for the house at all. As I said, it was from three houses ago. So I think we'll get used to it. And also it will show off the rug better when it sits on the rug because you can't see an awful lot of the rug at the moment with that. So the lounge is nearly done. I only need to replace the curtains. I wasn't going to replace the curtains, but when I got the rug, there was just too much pattern. So I'm going to um, get some plain curtains and then we can have the great unveiling of the lounge although all the furniture isn't as it will be eventually because kitchen dining room still needs to be done so i think the plan for this evening is to have some pasta bake sorry i'm just standing you up yeah have some pasta bake um, i'm going to be having an early night i think i'm really tired it's only 10 past six so i'm gonna put the oven on in a minute get ready for dinner get the dinner ready and um yeah, that's it. And what maybe watch some got an episode of MasterChef from last night that we didn't see MasterChef the professionals. So probably catch up with that and then haven't seen any Queen's Gambit since the weekend, so I need to watch a bit more of that as well. And an early night. So I think I'm going to call this a vlog because tomorrow we have got our day out in Exeter. We're having a day off. Ashley is um off work as well. We're going to go and do some probably only window shopping. Mm. But have a wander around, have some lunch, and um, yes, a nice day out. Haven't had a day out for what feels like ages. Um, so yes, I'm going to finish off so I haven't got too big an edit in the morning. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.